Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to another episode of my photography adventures here in Ireland. Now, I took a week off, first time ever since September 2017 and it felt great but it also felt a small bit weird. On a Sunday evening, five o'clock, I had no video to go out but that was by intention so I'm happy that I didn't miss it. But today I'm here as you can see for something which is just hitting me right now, perfect timing, is fleeting light. Now, Today I'm going to be all about shooting with intention and shooting for the edit. So the scene that I'm at here is a place called Kilcray Friary. As you can see behind me here, it's a stunning, stunning place. I've come here a number of times before, but today I wanted to come here because you can see with these clouds that are here, we have a real dark and moody sky. So what I want to do is I want to get a shot and like I say, shoot with intention. So I'm gonna take shots, particularly when this subject and this beautiful crop below me is lit up, just like right now when the sun is popping out. And I'm going to then edit the shot with that in mind. Now at the moment here, I've got my shot framed up um, that the trees that are over here on the left hand side are starting kind of like what you see here and then leading up into the friary. And what I'm waiting for is for the light to hit it, which it is right now. And then I'm going to edit that shot with this dark, dark clouds behind it. I think it should work out as a very nice shot. And it's something that I wanted to go on this channel for a long period of time is to shoot with intention or shoot for the edit. So I'm going to have a look at the first ones I've done here. I'll talk you through then what I've got it set up as, and we'll see how the shots will go then. So it looks like right now I've got a big gap above me here, right where the sun is. So I am going to get quite a lot on my subject, which is perfect actually for what I want to do. But ultimately I want all of these clouds here just to move over onto this side so I don't have the blue either side of the image. And that's fine, that's just a matter of waiting because obviously these clouds are moving. But for the first shot you saw here, it was with no light. Now I've had the light and my settings are at f8. I'm at 1 400th of a second and ISO is at 100. Now I have no filters on whatsoever, but I'm doing doing this because I want to darken the image purely on my exposure. So it's looking here, it's underexposed by one stop. And what that's going to allow me to do, I think anyway, hopefully, is to bring out as much as I can on this here, because ultimately what I want to have is I want to have the sky, as you can see here, all dark, and then it's nice and bright on the subject, which is perfect for what I want to do now. And I can change that then with the edit. And I'll talk you through that on my edit when we get to my Behind the Raw, which will be on next Wednesday. Now, what I'm going to do at the moment here is um, I'm gonna wait, take a couple of more shots, but in the meantime, I'm gonna set this camera up here and I'm going to do a time-lapse so you can see the difference in the movements in the cloud and you can see how that light as well is fleeting. So yeah, here's the intentional shot anyway here now, and then I'll give you a look at the time-lapse and I'll check back in again in a moment. Oh, the light and the conditions here actually are great. There's a nice bit of fleeting light. The darkness of the clouds actually seems to be moving in the opposite direction, but nonetheless, I'm glad that I got the shot that I got then. Now, what I've done is I've sent the drone up for a bit of aerial view and also to get a photo with the drone as well from a completely different perspective. So yeah, I'll give you a look now next at the drone footage. I think here it's going to look great. Hopefully it does in the end anyway here. So here's the drone footage and we'll check back in again in a moment.
Now, wasn't that drone footage absolutely class? And I do like the image that I managed to get as well. It's another area at the far end of the uh, friary. And normally, it's kind of broken down with the crop because people will walk through the crop and destroy it. But looking on the drone there, it does look like it's perfectly intact. So that's where I'm going now. There's a set of tram, uh, tram lines that run and you can walk along those tram lines without damaging the crop. So yeah, that's what we're going to do anyway. Next, spin you around here, look. And here is the entrance into the friary. Here's some information if you want to do a screen grab on that to learn more about it. But yeah, this friary is a place I visited a lot of times and you can actually go in there. So if I was interested in doing, you know, kind of gravestone images and stuff like that, you know, we could head in there. But yeah, I'm not interested in that. So I want to go around the back here and uh, yeah, find this tram line, take the walk, walk around this stunning structure as you can see and then grab the other shot from the other side let's go So I've now come around to the back end of the friary and as you can see here it's stunning from this entire viewpoint. Now I'm utilizing like I said the tram line that's here and it's unusual that this place hasn't got a stacked load of footprints all the way through because it normally has. Now settings as well at the moment here I'm shooting at 1 1,000th of a second I'm at f8. Why 1 1,000th of a second? To freeze the crop that's here because I don't want to have any movements whatsoever and that's an important point is always check on the back of the camera and go pixel peeping for sharpness because you'd be hate to see that when you get the image back home that what you'd want it to be oops sorry I must never turn off my phone sorry oh hang on a second it's Mr. Dermot O'Donovan. One moment there, I'll give you a look at Dermot. Do you remember Dermot? One second there now. Dermot, say hello to everybody. Hey. Hello everybody. Hang on now, can I see you here on this? Uh, yeah, I can't really see your screen because my brightness, hang on. I got to make this brighter, I have to be able to see Dodd. There's the Dodd. How's it going buddy? Uh, I am out somewhere that you've been before actually. Do you remember Kilcray Friary? Oh, that's where you might jump down. Oh yeah, I, I, I realised I had the backwards, so there, there's Kilcray Friary, that's what you're looking at on the screen, yeah. So yeah, I'm out in Kilcray Friary at the moment, and um, I am recording a video, so now you're on the video. <laughs> so that means I'm going to be famous. Ah, uh, you'll be more famous than what you currently are, like, yeah. Uh, probably, that's not hard. Yeah, that's not hard. So Dermot so rudely interrupted me, but you know what? Maybe we have to call up to Dermot, we'll have to get him back out again. I think he's forgotten how to use his camera. Do you know how to use your camera? Uh, there's an A and a B button, sir. Oh, so you've, shipped, you've, you've moved brands, you're not in Canon anymore, no? I, I am, I'm only joking. Ah, so Canon for life! Like Sony or Canon for life, Canon for life. Uh, do you want to go for a shoot this week? Sounds like a plan. When are you thinking? Uh, Thursday. What do you reckon, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. I might, I might be able to fit you in there. All right, that's a date. We'll have to see if Dermot no, holds up onto this one now. Thursday, shooting with this guy. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Dodd. Here's the shot that I've taken here. I'll catch up with this lunatic next. Right, so we're back around now again to the front of the Abbey. I really like the image actually from the back there, but as you can see here now, the light on me, it's being constant. So I was hoping that I'd get more of an opportunity with light and shadow, but still nonetheless, what I did get, I think was quite nice also. So important one for me today was to shoot with intention and 
edit as well towards that. So you're basically shooting for the edit. I hope you enjoy coming along in this episode with me. Be sure to join me next Wednesday when I take you through the edit from one of these images here on my series Behind the Raw. Thank you very much as always for joining. And if it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, schlange voll.